In modern Western capitalism, speculation, expectation and ignorance often collide to create a perfect storm of irrational financial exuberance, an economic bubble. A bubble is simply where prices continue to rise beyond the true value of what it is that we are talking about. People buy simply because they believe that everybody else is going to buy. During bubbles, we know that you have these mechanisms of herd behavior where I value a firm, not really because I know its underlying profits and earnings, but I think that you're valuing it highly. I don't want to lose out by not getting involved in the game. The economist John Maynard Keynes recognized that all finance involved a gamble on the future. One thing we know about the future is that we don't know what the future is going to be like. And therefore, we have to base our decisions on an expectation. Keynes believed that because we can't know the future, we are guided instead by our animal spirits. The herd mentality drives uh, a lot of the, the bubble-like behavior that we see. Uh, that, that unwillingness to stand alone from the crowd is undoubtedly the, the major extender uh, of all bubbles. You know, I liken it to a, a group of uh, dogs that I saw at a circus once. They're these big sheep dogs, and they're slobbering and jumping all over each other, and they, they all run in one direction until they pile up in a corner, and then they get up and they start going in the other direction, full speed, until they crash into that. And I think there's a degree to which markets work like that. One of the biggest bubbles of the past century was the late 90s dot-com boom. It was an insane market. You didn't have to know anything. You didn't have to do any research. You just thought everybody else was buying, and it went up. It was ridiculous. You'd, all logic went out the window. The adjectives we usually use to describe um, bubbles are manic. There's an element of insanity, delusional, euphoric, overconfident, and that's what people look like when they're, when they're caught up in bubbles. We all thought, God, we're going to be rich, and we probably would have been rich, but it was a completely unsustainable business model. It was just, just totally mad. It was a bloodbath. Bubbles are sometimes compared to fads, meaning they don't last forever. But when an economic bubble bursts, the consequences can be catastrophic. I think the knock-on effect of bubbles does impact on ordinary people. It's the ordinary people. Uh, who suffer from the, the petrol prices and the, the unemployment and the, um, the lack of investment in public services. If they can cause such damage, is there a way to regulate against bubbles or must we leave the markets to find their own level? Either way, it's clear that in a fast-moving economy, what seemed to be a one-way bet, a guaranteed winning hand, can quickly become a busted flush.